If you've been using ChatGPT for writing, I'm gonna show you how to use one of the latest models, ChatGPT Canvas, to take your writing from average to great in no time. We're gonna look at how you can use voice, ChatGPT 4.0 to do research and planning, and how you can pull it all together in ChatGPT Canvas with a live demonstration. So, I've already done some of the brainstorming here for this. I went to write an article about writing with ChatGPT Canvas. So I'd like to discuss a number of things which I'm now gonna share with ChatGPT 4.0 through the voice feature. So here we go. Hey Chappie, I would like you to help me create a blog post highlighting what ChatGPT Canvas is and who could benefit, it, benefit from it. I'd also like you to discuss a number of different elements and format it in a way that makes the most sense and is easy to consume. But for now, I'd like us to start with the structure of the blog post. So the title is Writing with ChatGPT Canvas. You can update that to How to Write with ChatGPT Canvas. I'd like you to explore what is ChatGPT Canvas? How is it different to previous models of ChatGPT? What are the features of ChatGPT Canvas? What are the use cases for ChatGPT Canvas? How might OpenAI evolve ChatGPT Canvas, uh, the interface and the features? Because I believe this is just the start of a whole new interface that is going to continue to evolve, uh, which is why I think it's so cool to be able to, to start working with it. Although it's, it's fairly limited in what it can produce, it will already significantly improve the writing you already have and improve your work workflow. Then I'd also like you to discuss how to use ChatGPT Canvas for writing and share some workflow hacks that we can look into whilst exploring Canvas. Um, I'd particularly like to know how we can refine this further by using ChatGPT 4.0 as we are currently using, and then bringing it into Canvas further down the line to tweak it, collaborate, uh, and just create a better result at the end of all of this. So with that in mind, I'd like you to do some research. Given that this is an open AI product, I would like to think that you are able to find all these details about ChatGPT Canvas. Uh, I'd like you to draft the outline of this blog post, and then we will take it from there in terms of tweaking and evolving. Cool, I do prefer these voice notes. They go on for many minutes. I blab, I make mistakes, but it's quick. It's, this would have taken me 10 minutes to write. I'm a slow writer generally, and I think too much when I write. So I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna hit go. Okay, so how to write with ChatGPT Canvas. We've got an introduction. What is ChatGPT Canvas? Evolution from previous ChatGPT models features, uh, use cases, potential evolution of ChatGPT Canvas, how to use ChatGPT Canvas for writing, workflow hacks and advanced tips, conclusion, references. Okay, I like this. It's basic, it's an outline, it's what I asked for. So from here, I'm gonna continue to use the voice feature to develop this further. Uh, start adding things like the content itself, uh, but looking at things like tone, formatting, uh, and any nuances that can make this different to just any standard piece of writing. Okay, great, thank you. This is a good start. I'd like to develop this further. So from here, I'd like you to write out the first draft of the blog post using the headings that you've created. I'd like you to adopt a tone that is easy to understand, uses simple language and is somewhat conversational, something that a high schooler would be able to understand, and do it in quite a direct tone. Uh, one that is Easy to understand, yet still entertaining and a little quirky. Please use formatting that would make it easy to scan and readable. Thank you. Let me know whether to say thank you, please. I think it's good. All right, here we go. Okay, I've had this, I've had this hallucination happen numerous times where my voice notes are somehow translated into, into Welsh and they appear here as Welsh and that's not good. Uh, so we're going to try that again. But this time, hey Chappie, thank you for this. Uh, you keep translating my voice notes into Welsh. Please stop doing that. Let's stick with English. Uh, I'm happy with the outline you've put together here. I'd like to now develop a blog post uh, with formatting. Keep the language quite simple and to the point. Use NLP so that it's easy to read and understand. I'd like the high schooler to be able to understand this fairly easily. And I would like to adopt a tone that is conversational, a little bit quirky and different, but also very to the point so that people can understand what ChatGPT Canvas is. Uh, but it also gives it a sense of um, a sense of, uh, of narrative in terms of how this is used and not beating around the bush when it comes to explaining what it is and how it can be used. Okay, so how to write with ChatGPT Canvas. What is ChatGPT Canvas? What makes it different? Features, who can benefit? How might OpenAI evolve ChatGPT Canvas? Multimedia support. Okay, dropping in videos, that's very cool. Again, this is, uh, this isn't official. This is based on the research that's been done, but it does seem inevitable. It is inevitable 
it does seem inevitable that uh, elements like this could potentially be added down the line. So how to use ChatGPT Canvas for writing, access Canvas, set your goal. Okay, draft and collaborate, start typing, let AI make suggestions, refine as you go, iterate and improve. Okay, cool, so this is a great start. Okay, so sometimes it can be a bit tricky going from ChatGPT 4.0 into 4.0 with Canvas because it says here, this model doesn't support search. So a little hack around that is we can just copy the the result of this this first round blog draft. Uh, let's copy that, and then what we'll do is we'll start a new chat. We'll use Canvas. I'd like you to help me. say refine a blog post about chat. The Canvas to help people understand it. Let's say to help to help early adopters understand what it is and whether it may be useful for them. Here is the. Th the first draft paste it in and let's hit go okay so you'll see here now we've been pulled into uh the se separate and this is what i love about canvas is that you have one side which is for your instructions where you're used to having everything in chat gpt previous models and we tweak on the right side here. So it's a much better user experience in terms of uh, separating what it is you're telling ChatGPT to do and the result that it's producing. So let's see what it's, it's come up with here. Okay, so this is a good start. It's developed the, the initial blog post and whilst it does need some tweaking, it's still sounding like AI, uh, but it's not, as obvious as uh, previous models, which I quite like. So this is where we start making the use of Canvas. So we come down to the bottom here, we can either suggest edits, adjust the length, uh, adjust the reading level, add a final polish or add emojis, if you'd really like to do that. Uh, so let's try suggest edit. So, this is very cool. So what it does is it highlights the, the part that they suggest changing. So meet ChatGPT Canvas, your AI powered co-writer that's here to help you brainstorm, refine and elevate your content. Consider adding a brief example here of a specific writing scenario where ChatGPT Canvas can be particularly helpful to make introduction the introduction more relatable. So let's apply that. And you can see live, it does take its time sometimes, but it's just updated all of that in this one frame instead of going back and forth and having an endless stream of results, which is great. Okay, so next one, let's see. This metaphor is effective, but consider making it slightly more concise to maintain the flow. Great, let's try that. So what I love about this is it's looking at each sentence and telling you how you can improve it, which is priceless. Um, so especially if you've written content many months ago using ChatGPT, which will probably sound like AI and people will immediately think it's AI, what you can do is bring those old blog posts into, into Canvas and use features like uh, final polish or suggested edits, adjust reading level, etc. So I like the idea of updating these. Um, consider elaborating on how this collaborative approach improves productivity or creativity to emphasize its value. Let's try that. And sometimes you might not agree with the suggestion. Maybe you're happy with, with what it is. So spoiler alert, almost anyone who writes can benefit. This, uh, this phrase is catchy, but you could consider rephrasing it some more professional, such as ChatGPT Canvas is benef beneficial for a wide range of writers. Uh, I prefer the original one. I wanted a bit of quirkiness in this. This is the result and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Uh, and again, quirkiness, that's something that previous models of ChatGPT, quirkiness, humor, really struggled with. It's still not amazing, but it's getting better. I didn't explain, I'll say straight up, this is a little boring. Can you think more big picture and highlight the potential uh, future benefits of adopting or let's say of using Canvas. 
Again, let's see. From AI that can adapt to your unique writing voice, since creating multimedia elements seamlessly and even expanding to real-time team-based collaboration with intelligent project management. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much writing. Um, let's just see. Canvas could evolve to be the ultimate creative environment where writers, designers, and teams come together. Okay, that is powerful. Come together to build powerful content effortlessly, and that's what making and that's what makes getting on board with Canvas so exciting. Great, I like that. I'm going to remove this because it's wordy and overcomplicated and unnecessary. Uh, cool. So I'm happy with that. Let's see if there's any other. No, no other suggestions. So what you can do is let's try just the length. Uh, I'd like it to be slightly longer. Uh, so we can see here, I've expanded the text by adding more details about the benefits, features, and potential future developments of GPT Canvas. Let me know if this aligns with your vision or if there are further adjustments you'd like to explore. Another cool feature is if we realize that, you know, making it longer wasn't helpful, you can always go back to a previous version. We're gonna go to reading level, middle school. Okay, let's try middle school. Imagine having a writing buddy who's always ready to brainstorm ideas, help you polish your sentences. Yeah, I quite like the language. It, it, it feels as though it's dumbed it down slightly where it's a lot more conversational, uh, which I appreciate, but I don't think I want to use this version. I, I prefer the, the previous one where it's probably more targeted towards working professionals, where there's that balance between conversation and or conversational tone and professionalism. So let's go back to the previous version. Uh, and then you can always add, add emojis. Let's give that a try. I don't see this being something I necessarily want to keep. See, there's... <laughs> I'm okay with an emoji in every heading, but when there's an emoji after every sentence or comma, that's problematic. So, and now we can't, uh, it's still thinking. Yeah, let's just stop that, cancel. Okay, so we've canceled that. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at that emoji feature and figure out how to actually make use of it in a decent way. Um, so this is, this is great. I think I'm just about ready to, to wrap up here. So I'd like to add a final polish using Canvas. So we're gonna hit that. And again, you can always message ChatGPT here on the side if there's anything else you wanted to do in addition to one of these tools that is now available in Canvas. Okay, so, and it's also cool how it's just editing as it goes down. It's not rewriting the entire blog post, which it's also just fun to watch. Okay, so edited, I've added some final polish to the text, ensuring consistency and improving readability. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to adjust. Okay, so going through this, I'm pretty happy with the result. It's comprehensive. It's got a nice tone where it's, it's somewhat conversational, but also kind of sticks to the point. Uh, Pre-draft edit in ChatGPT. So use ChatGPT for initial brainstorming and outlining. That's great. That's kind of what we've done. Import it into Canvas. So whether you just change the model in the top in the top right, uh, or if you have to copy and paste, depending if you want to use the voice feature like I have, that's up to you. Um, leverage AI suggestions. So Canvas's feedback is often surprisingly spot on. Don't overlook it. Even if you don't use every suggestion, it can spark new ideas and perspectives. Very cool. Collaborate in stages. So another cool thing about Canvas is you can use this for collaboration. Makes it much easier to work on one final product where all the back and forth and discussion and planning ideas, etc., happens uh, separately. So use context awareness, provide specific prompts about tone and audience so Canvas can tailor its suggestions. This ensures your writing is not only polished, but also fits the intended purpose and audience. Okay, very cool. So I'm I'm happy with this. I'm gonna pretty much copy and paste this into, into a blog format, double check the headings, uh, use little formatting hacks here and there to just make it easy to understand. But this is how I've been using Canvas, how I think it's useful to use it. Um, given this, the limitations that it does have in terms of in terms of certain elements, because bear in mind it is still in beta mode. So 
I think this is the start of an entire new new interface for ChatGPT as a whole. Uh, and I love how OpenAI are releasing these beta versions of these models to, to I'm sure, test uh, you know, whether people are using these and how we can use tools like these in a way that makes writing, coding, planning, organizing way more streamlined and easy to pull together and organize. So I hope this has been useful. If you've used ChatGPT Canvas in an interesting way, let us know, share, uh, share some notes with us and thank you for watching.